Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to do my fourth NaNoWriMo update. So this has been a really good week for me, um, writing-wise. I mean, I started the week not really knowing where I was at, but now I feel like I'm in a point where, I mean, I still don't know how my story will end, but I, I think that I have more of a direction. Anyway, here is the vlog for this week. Hey, so today is day 16 of NaNoWriMo and it's 8.30 in the evening. And today I wrote 1,763 words and last week I told you that I, I wanted to accomplish reaching 25,000 words on that Sunday to catch up. And I did catch up. I was so, so, so pumped to write yesterday, I mean yesterday Sunday, I wrote almost 3,000 words just doing the Twitter sprints and you know just writing everything that I wanted to write. There were a lot of actions thousand eight hundred and fifteen words today has been a very productive day just for writing not in general life so it's day 18 is Wednesday I didn't update you yesterday because um, I had a lot of things to do and because of that I also wrote like 500 words so I'm well kind of behind right now um, I mean I'm behind but I can still do it it's uh, 3 p.m. so I also had a lot of things to do, but I was by myself, so I could write. I also did a lot of commuting, so I mostly wrote on the train, um, waiting for things. So, so with all of that, I wrote 1,578 words. I thought I would have written like, I don't know, 500 words again, but I wrote so much. I was waiting for so many things that um, it made sense at the end to be on today's goal I have to write like less than 1,000 words but this is mostly an update for yesterday. Yay! I got to 30,000 words which is today's goal. I mean 3,342 words. I can't believe it. it's almost 5 p.m. so I still have a lot of the day left and probably I will write more in the evening. I wrote only today 2,847 words. It seems like that's what I do, like one day I don't write and then I write like 3,000 words in a day. <sighs> Everything would be better if I would write like 3,000 words every day. <laughs> but yeah, that's not my style. I do things under pressure. I just realized that I never showed you where I work or how I work. I'm not a very organized person at all. Like, there's no way I'm organized. Still, I have my notebook. Here I did the outline and I write most of my thoughts and I wrote most of the character traits and things like that and I wrote also what happens in every chapter so like I said in another video I wrote one thing one interesting thing that happens in every chapter so I have something to move around and I also have this wall of thoughts and things that happens uh, don't read it it's horrible but uh, anyways I have here the NaNoWriMo calendar and where you can write how many words do you write each day for example that day I wrote zero words <laughs> that's like the best example no for example, that day I wrote like almost 3,000 words. That's what I was saying, you know? I work much better with um, visual things, so I always like to have things to look at. Um, and then I have here the characters. These are not things that are actually going to happen in each character. I just I just wrote like the basic things, um, so I can always go back. This is the main character, Emma. This is Charlie and that is like love interest at some point. Then Anna and Sam who are her best friends. 
Abby's her sister and uh, Tom and Aaron are the, her twin brothers and then her parents and then uh, Cassie and Pat who are another um, side characters. Keep adding people to my story so probably this will change um, because like Pat for example I started as a just a side character like like nothing very interesting and then he became a very very important character also the guy that Sam is with that I talked in my previous video um, he is also very important to the story that was my update for today I will let you know if I write anything else um, thank you Hey guys, so it's day 19 of NaNoWriMo and today I wrote 1681 words. Yesterday I ended up not writing any more words than the ones I told you. But right now I'm having such a nice time writing my novel. And you know, it's raining and the weather is kind of cold, so it's kind of perfect for me to write right now. I don't know, I'm so inspired. I've been having a hard time in like deciding what to write, but I found out that a lot of people are going through the same thing, like thinking they are writing too much dialogue and not so much like descriptions of things and stuff. And that is something I could definitely relate to, but right now that's not a priority. So yeah, I'm just trying to like, you know, um, move the plot along. So right now I have 32,023 words. I'm very happy with how this is going and I'm, I'm still introducing characters but these are less important but they are going to you know just casually take down the government and start the revolution. Not in a very dystopian way but more in a revolutionary way which is the way I like it. <laughs> I like it revolutionary. <laughs> Hope you're doing really well. Hope you're having fun and I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Friday, day 20 of NaNoWriMo. I'm on track right now. So today I wrote 1,571 words. I have 33,594 words. By now, um, things are moving along. I am struggling so much with, because now I'm introducing a lot of new characters because she met a whole new group of people and I don't know if I should introduce everybody from the group because I can't ignore them, you know, like they, they're like six people but they're six new people and if I would introduce like only two people and the other ones would be in the background, that would be stupid, you know? That wouldn't make any sense like if she just walked in, in the room and she just like gets introduced to two people and not to the other four, you know? I don't know if it would be too tedious to the reader. I don't even know. I don't know how people write books. Like, I, I don't know. I I think my novel would need, like, more than 50,000 words, you know? I, I'm a person that I need, like, a goal. And I hate that about me because, like, I'm a very competitive person, not with people only, but with myself. And like, if I put a goal, I will achieve it. If I don't have a goal, I don't do anything. Like, I, I'm afraid that I will leave this novel at 50,000 words, whether it's finished or not. And I really, really don't want that. I don't want to leave this novel because, I, as I said, I feel very attached to it. I don't know what I need, but I need something. I, I need to find, like, I really need to want to finish this novel. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Ugh. This has been a lot of rambling, but I hope you understand. It, so yesterday, it was Saturday, and I didn't make an update for that, um, but I didn't write anything yesterday, but anything, not a word. But last night, I decided, I mean, this morning, I decided to start writing and I couldn't stop and I reached the goal for yesterday. So this morning I reached uh, 35,000 words um, and now I, ha I have written 35,324 no, words so far and I still have to write the words for today. So my story is progressing really well. I really, really, really love that I can honestly say 
that it's going somewhere like the other day i had a realization like um i wasn't going to introduce i mean he, he was introduced already but i wasn't going to make him that uh, for an important character like the, the love interest of my main character but i decided like why not i mean i don't want i don't want this love to be insta loving so if I introduce him or I, if I, they start interacting like truly, at, like at, almost at the end of the book, like, it won't be significant. And this story is not a romance story, but why? Like, but I love romance books. Like I love books with romance. Now, so I couldn't understand why I wasn't introducing him. So last night when I was writing, I decided to bring him. I mean, he isn't there yet, but he's going to be there now when I start writing at some point <laughs> because I didn't want to make a book centered in a girl whose life changes because she meets a guy you know she, I wanted to be like her life changes because completely a completely different thing and then a guy appears and like I said he is going to be in the wrong side of history so he has a lot of making up to do <laughs> so hope you're having a great NaNoWriMo or November um tell me in the comments how everything is going and yeah hope you liked it if you did subscribe and I will see you when I see you bye